My god, if I could somehow appear in a dream to my younger self or if I could somehow write little Anna a letter this is what I would say Grades don't define you. You gotta start studying early if you wanna pass those exams. You're gonna regret skipping those classes. We all hear that all the time. But some things no one can tell you. And at some point, you wish so damn much you would have known that you don't need to plan a 12 hour study session because it's not gonna work and you're just gonna keep frustrating yourself or that that thing that you're stressing so much about right now it's not gonna matter in two years in fact you're probably gonna forget it don't even think about planning a 12-hour study session i've had so many exams so far and somehow i still get tempted to say that for the next few days, I'm gonna work on turbo mode. 12 hours straight, no breaks, no phone, no sleep. But it's not working. Or if it does for one day, the next day you're gonna be sleeping the whole time. And I think somehow every student has thought at some point that this is a path to success. But it isn't. Try, for example, to break everything down into smaller study sessions and reward yourself after each one. That way, your brain is gonna wanna help you the next time. And that brings me to actually the next thing I would like to say to little Anna. Learn to negotiate with your brain. Think of your brain like your employee who you need to get things done for you and from whom you need help because you do need help will he help you if you're being ruthless with him will he help you if you don't reward him with anything probably not so be smart come up with a plan to reward yourself for every little study session for example Come up with a plan to make him feel appreciated so that he'll be willing to help you further. Let him take some time for himself between study sessions. This might actually be your key to your getting things done goal. So give it a try. Motivation doesn't magically appear. You have to give it a reason to do so. Finding motivation can be so hard sometimes especially if the things that you want to do are things you don't really enjoy that much. So what do you do? You patiently wait until the night before the exam for the motivation to come. And that night it suddenly magically appears being pushed by the pressure before the upcoming exam. But it's too late. So give your reasons to come earlier. Think about why you need to study for that exam. Why is it important to you? Will it help you find that dream job? Will it allow you to finally celebrate acing all your exams? Will it be the end of uni time and the start of that well-deserved vacation on the beach with no worries at all? You know what it is. So remind yourself of that every time you're feeling low and you're lacking motivation. Everything depends on you now. In school, we were used to being handed our weekly schedules, being told about potential contests, being informed by the professors where and when we need to be for a test or exam, basically being guided every step of the way. But university is totally different. For a start, you can pick your own classes. And in order to attend those, you have to find out where they take place. If you want to write an exam, you have to register for it in a specific period of time. If you miss that deadline, 
there's no exam to be taken. No one's gonna ask if you know where you have to be in order to take that exam. So if you cannot find a room for that exam, it's your responsibility, it's your problem. So make sure you get that checked beforehand. You are responsible for everything regarding your university schedule, exams, deadlines that you should be aware of, and so on. And it might be overwhelming at first, but don't worry, you're gonna figure things out. Because after all, it's part of becoming an adult. You are not alone in this. Everyone is struggling. I cannot tell you how many times I sit in my quantum mechanics class thinking that, that I'm the only human on earth that doesn't understand quantum mechanics. And it's obviously so dumb to think like that, but it's, it's you just, you feel like that somehow and it's all right. But remember that even if you look left and right, and you see some people that are understanding and you feel like you're the only one who doesn't keep in mind that there are maybe a hundred other people that are struggling with the same thing that you are struggling with just know that statistically speaking there should be at least 50 percent of those people that don't understand those things so don't worry you're not alone in this Keep your eyes open to see if this field of study is really the right one for you. So you picked a field of study. First semester, you have lectures on certain topics. You're one week in, you're figuring things out. Does it look interesting? One month in. You already know how it works. You're starting to understand what the professors might want from you. Do you like it? One semester in. It's kind of clear how things are going to look for the next few semesters. And of course, things are going to change, but the main style is going to be the same. So, do you see yourself like this for the next three to four years? Do you actually enjoy what you're supposed to study? If the answer is yes, congrats, you picked well. Stay focused, stay interested, work motivated towards your goal. And I promise you, your work is gonna pay off eventually. But if the answer is no, don't be afraid of change. Don't you dare think that if you're gonna quit now, you're gonna be a failure or you're gonna be looked at as being a failure. Start searching. See this as an opportunity to explore yourself deeper and find out what really excites you what really fascinates you and i promise you you're gonna find it you're you're meant to find it and if it's not now then maybe it's it's in one year maybe it's in two years but you're you're gonna find it so don't let yourself be stuck in a thing that makes you unhappy be more open to possibilities because there are tons of possibilities and most importantly, little Anna and guys, remind yourself constantly why you started studying in the first place. Remind yourself what fascinated you in the first place that you chose that specific field of study. Because that's what's going to keep you going. That's what's going to motivate you the whole way through. And if you feel like you're not resonating with whatever it is that you chose, find something else that makes you want to wake up every morning to learn more about and to dig in further and further and deeper and deeper. 